everyone. The story that I've chosen this week is called Stuck and it's by Oliver Jeffers. It all began when Floyd got his kite stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. The trouble really began when he threw his favourite shoe to knock the kite loose, and that got stuck too. He threw up his other shoe to knock down his favourite shoe, and unbelievably, that got stuck as well. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd Fetched Mitch. Cats get stuck in trees all the time, but this was getting ridiculous. Floyd fetched a ladder. He was going to sort this out once and for all. And up he threw it. I'm sure you can guess what happened. The ladder was borrowed from a neighbour and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a bucket of paint at it. And wouldn't you know, the bucket of paint got stuck. Then Floyd tried a duck to knock down the bucket of paint, a chair to knock down the duck, his friend's bicycle to knock down the chair, the kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle, their front door to knock down the kitchen sink, the family car to knock down their front door, the milkman to knock down the family car, an orangutan to knock down the milkman who surely had somewhere else to be. A small boat to knock down the orangutan. A big boat to knock down the small boat. A rhinoceros to knock down the big boat. A long distance lorry to knock down the rhinoceros. The house across the street to knock down the long distance lorry. A lighthouse to knock down the house no longer across the street. A curious whale in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. And they all got stuck. A fire engine was passing and heard all the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. And up they went. First the engine, followed by the firemen, one by one. And there they stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely be noticed missing and Floyd knew he'd be in big trouble. Then he had an idea and went to find a saw. Lined it up as best he could and hurled it up the tree. And that was it. There was no more room left in the tree and the kite came unstuck. Floyd was delighted. He had forgotten all about his kite and put it to use immediately enjoying the rest of his day very much. That night, Floyd fell asleep exhausted. Though before he did, he could have sworn there was something he was forgetting. Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. 